I'm Nikki and welcome to my Q&A webcam vlog. Our first question today comes from Tian Shanahan 86 What was it like visiting Zach Scott? Zach Scott's another YouTuber, in case you guys haven't heard of him, you should check him out. He has funny animals, funny animal videos, as well as funny other videos. Um, we visited Zach Scott when we were driving back to California from Minnesota. We stopped in Oklahoma and hung out with him. And it was really fun. He's a really cool guy in person. He's really nice. He's funny. He had us cracking up the whole time. We had a very good time hanging out with him. Hopefully we can hang out with him again soon. But one thing though, his animals, we were all excited to hang out with like Otto, Egon, and Izzy because we're such fan of them and their videos. And they don't like strangers. They're only nice to their owners. So we didn't really get to hang out with them. But all in all, it was a really fun trip and we're glad we got to hang out with Zach Scott. Our second question today comes from Cat Lover. Would you ever go brunette or full on redhead? I have before. I used to be a receptionist at a hair salon, so I experimented a lot with different hair colors. I've been full on brunette. I've had brunette with highlights. I've had black hair. I've had red hair. I've had purple hair because of a prank. But I found that I'm best, I look best as a blonde. I prefer being blonde. I get more attention in public. I get more compliments when I'm blonde. And I have a blonde personality. I am a blonde, okay? So that's why my hair color is blonde and it's gonna stay blonde for a while. Um, our second question, or our final question, comes from Strictly Magical. And they ask, do you like sushi or hate it? And do you believe it's bad for you? Um, uh, sushi's big in California. I didn't try sushi until I moved here. And I do like it. It's very good. A lot of people don't realize that sushi isn't just straight up raw fish like sashimi. I've tried sashimi before and it's good, um, but it's not what I prefer. You can get like cooked fish in rolls and you can even get raw fish in rolls too. But um, it's not just straight up slices of raw fish that you put in your mouth. Um, you can get like uh, fried shrimp tempura in the middle of a roll mixed with other stuff in there and it's just wrapped up in rice and it's really good. You can even get baked rolls with baked, baked lobster and baked scallops in it. And my favorite sushi roll is the California roll which is crab meat with avocado, some a little bit of cucumber wrapped up in rice. It's really good. And, that's not, and I have them add a little bit of cream cheese in there. It's not how it usually comes, but the cream cheese tastes really good in there, trust me. And I love eel sauce. Eel sauce doesn't sound like it would be delicious, but it is. I'm not a fan of soy sauce. It's too salty for me, so I don't really like it. I dip all my sushi rolls in eel sauce instead of soy sauce. Eel sauce is very sweet. It's very, very good. Do I think sushi is bad for you? If you're talking about raw fish, no, your body can handle raw fish fine. But with all fish, you need to worry about mercury a little bit because we're kind of assholes to our ocean. We don't treat it very well. But I don't think it's worse for you than anything else that you eat pretty much for the most part. Um, and I found that it's very good to eat when if you want to feel full and stay slim. I mean, look at Japanese people. You don't see very many overweight Japanese people. Um, our final, or that brings us to our random fact of the day, which is, in French, a dandelion is called a pissinlet, which means urinate in bed. And look at you French, you think you're so classy. I'm just kidding, guys, you are classy. Well, thank you so much for tuning into my Q&A webcam vlog. I really appreciate it. If you'd like your question featured in my next vlog, post it in the comment section or tweet me at NikitaBanana88. Take care, guys. Mwah. Say bye, Puff Daddy.